Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is already time for the June Mining Farm update. We do these on every first Tuesday of the month and talk through all the machines and what is upcoming for the channel. We normally do my personal systems last but we will start here today. In terms of random eggs, the biggest happening of the month was definitely finally updating my own workstation. From i7-4790K and Ryzen 1700X, I went to Ryzen 3900X. Now for all my work and projects, as well as of course mining every second I'm not working. Of course, painfully shortly built before rumors about a refresh of the line of CPUs were floating around, but that is just tech life. I'm linking you the pure build video in the top right corner. That was a no talking build montage. But you can be sure that more content on it will be following. Some of you have been asking for settings for random acts. So to give a little spoiler, right now I'm mining above 14 kilo hash a second, which is not the absolute maximum possible, but I have to say I'm doing so while undervolted. So a nice low power setting below 1.1 volts for now. As mentioned, a more detailed dedicated video on that will follow soon. In line of that, if you noticed I sounded a bit different in the last two videos, this is because with the new system I saw the opportunity to do some changes in my audio setup as well. Does any one of you still know Firewire connectors? Yep, my old audio interface was still one of those. A beast though, which I'll keep for a drum recording, but absolute overkill for my one person home studio here. I'm not about to delve into audio too much, but I just wanted to mention it here, as it counts as channel upgrade as well. I have to say the process of getting my workflow integrated in a new system again took me a lot of time. Especially in, let's say, funny pandemic times when everything is chaos anyway. That's why in terms of the AMD GPU upgrade I've been talking about last month, not so much has happened. Swinging two graphics cards now, a little reminder, I wanted to turn my one RX 580 rig into a RX 5700 rig, or at least exchange a few cards and see how I like it. But for now, nothing has happened on that front. AMD side is mining Ethereum right now. Nvidia, you saw that I stole my 1070 Ti for the PC build mentioned above. People might wonder why everything is new but the GPU, but I simply don't need a newest generation card for my work. It is more reliant on CPU power. Therefore, in terms of workhorse GPU, it is enough and every second not working also mining. Zcoin here, same as the 1660 Super in the 1700X system. That system I will definitely keep by the way, it will stay a random X node and also serve as a test bench for me. You also just saw that the new build does not mean I'm neglecting the old one. It was a nice chance to do some fan experiments, which I'll link for you in the top right corner. An easy way for me to test or to benchmark GPUs. Last in terms of GPUs is the Octominer, which just runs as a tank. It has the rest of my NVIDIA cards on ION, the open application network and also two old RX cards, 470 and 580 have found a place in there to jug along on Ethereum. We just had an update on the F1 Mini FPGA as well, I'll link for you on how to update bitstreams. Since then I'm on AutoCrypt with it and planning to do another earnings update video. I just want to give it a bit more time and collect more data. By the way the cooler you saw in the video and many of you commented about, man a cheap China RGB cooler by Coolmoon costs around 10 bucks on AliExpress, but there is no way to control this thing, neither the fan speed because it's 3 pin nor the lights itself as there is no connector for it. The fan speed is not so bad as it's enough for the FPGA and also not even that loud but light wise <laughs> it just goes through its programs randomly. In a dark mining room maybe but honestly I have to say here in the office it's making me a bit crazy especially when working at night. But hey, a good opportunity to test out even more coolers, even though one could just simply slap a snowman on there as well. As I told you, I recently received a second one. At the latest, you'll see what I go for with the next dedicated update on it. 
That's already it for this week. I don't want to dedicate a whole paragraph to the ASICs this time. As you know, they are still off and nothing changed for me there. If I sell something or add something, you'll of course hear of it. <laughs> it's already June, folks. Does someone else feel like time is passing a bit faster this year than it does anyway? Please tell me what you folks have been up to in your mining operations. I hope all of you are safe and well. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining. And bye.